10 and 2. Moon. interesting. Actually, before I do that, Found a letter. Dear friend, judging from the tone of your last correspondence, I see that you were shocked to hear how far I've been able to progress. You asked me how I did it, and here I'll tell you every detail. I believe you will remember my mentioning to you a young gentleman named Frank Gilman from Miskatonic University. When I saw his thesis on a pineal gland, its developmental and instructional evolution and decadence over the course of thousands of years, I knew I was one step closer to freeing myself from the chains of the cor corporeal limits. Harley, that boy, was able to understand and the underlying notions and spot the details I was unsure of. I contacted and only partially told him about my research so that he may not treat me as others did. As a man of science, I was sure that he would be anxious, and so he did. After days and nights of meticulous work changing the design of the machine, I originally built and fine-tuning it to adapt to our physiology, we managed to make the device work without rejection by the brain. It was not, a design for, it was not designed for humans, yet we managed to prepare it for us. You remember how those so-called scientific communities mocked Oh, neat. The light moves. Uh, communities mocked me when I first told them about my theory of transcending the human senses using a mecha mechanical device. To hell with them. They mocked me with this assertion that I cannot be tested by current methods that... Wait a minute. They mocked me with that assertion that it cannot be tested by current methods of scientific inquiry. And here it is. Giving enough empirical data related to the sessions. It is an alien sensation use, using it, seeing and feeling without the help of one's corporeal body while floating easily in the ocean of darkness. I will write to you again in the coming weeks and invite you to personally see the results of your kind's E.W. Ross. Hey, you kicky. I don't know what possessed me to come up here and see if I missed anything since I've been running around crazily missing everything. Whoops! Okay, so now that I've opened this door, there's a box, box here that has a phonograph cylinder, which means I need to go back upstairs, maybe. Oh, let's. Oh no, I don't. In archaic myths, lurking in shunned and forbidden volumes. I've been able to trace some parts, speaking about a device of non-terrestrial origin that is capable of much more than I could ever imagine. Ancient cornariums, I will call them. Machines which are said to have been built long before mankind ever tread on this planet. The very source of the design I've used to make my own version of the machine. Okay. I'm not going down yet. Oh, squid mask. 
know. It doesn't tell me anything about it. A highly ornamental wooden mass that clearly depicts a cephalopod creature. Just looking at it gives me the shivers. Well, actually, it doesn't give me the shivers. I can take it. Oh, well, it's a trophy. Okay. So now... I hope the ladder doesn't give out under my weight. Yeah, well, it probably will. And you'll fall to your death, and that'll be the end of this. And you never get back up anyway. How about looking down? No? You don't want to look down? Okay. Am I at the ground? No. I'm not all the way down yet. That's it. Okay. Oh. Well, well, I guess you can climb back up, maybe. Why is there coffins down here? And why is there some weird machine? And heads. Oh, I might be able to get back up. There's this guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a body on the table. Oh. There's no body on the table. There's a door here. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's oh. stuck. Oh no, that one's locked. That one's stuck. Bottles, coffins, bottles, coffin, a chair. Oh, I'm assuming that's a printer. There's a phonograph cylinder. I need a photograph cylinder, which is probably Ugh. bright light. Oh. Okay, take. Uh cylinder. Take. Okay. Use it. It is said that ancient conariums have the ability to transfer one's mind outside through the endless vacuum into other receiving conariums. Just think about the possibility of shedding off the earthbound mortal coil to reach to the stars and yonder as a free agent to see the grand scheme above and beyond the third dimension. Being able to contemplate vistas and sense things you could never ever dream of with the help of the bodily sensations. Finally, we shall overleap time, space, and dimensions, and without bodily motion, peer to the bottom of creation. Yes, I know how this sounds to you. This is incomprehensible, even for someone like me who spent almost a lifetime on such arcane topics. It is just sad to see. The knowledge has been out there all the time, forevermore. And we failed to read between the lines. We failed to read between the lines. Yes, I'm assuming that is a printer. Um. I remember this place and what we achieved here. Violating the laws of nature with the help of those dead bodies brought here secretly from only God knows where. Forcing them to cooperate by the means of a cursed necromancy. And dreaming their dreams in those profane sessions to learn forbidden knowledge. Now I can distinctly see how pure madness once roamed here within our own shoes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Elder sign. That is a star, is not? 
if that's not a star, or uh, possibly a pentagram. Oh, that's a printout. book. I remember this place. Um, we can what we achieved here. We can skip it because I've already done that. Locked. Stuck. Quickly, quickly before it breaks. Or you can't get back. Or you can't get back. Okay. Don't know if I was supposed to. Whoops. Come back up here or not. Oh, we can't do anything with that anyway. Um, now where to? Oh, maybe in here? A strip from a tragic object with a five-pointed design on one side, on the other side is a complex inscription that looks like a star map. Oh, maybe I need to do something back downstairs. That's wouldn't be too surprised if I needed to do that. Whoa. Whoops. Okay, let's go back down. We'll skip it. Go down and back down. I have no idea. Okay, so can I... But see, I can only examine it. And close it. I can't use it up here, down here. Okay. Okay, it's interesting. Turn on the flashlight, move your mouse, and find a key. But where does the key lead? 
So that's uh, convenient. What's that? Go ahead and touch it. Oh. What are you doing? Don't try to take it. What's symbol did I just write down that symbol the tr upside down trident oh yeah I knew it all those years of extensive research have not been in vain here it is lying dormant and standing still beneath the eternally shifting sands of Rubal Kali for who knows how many millennia. Um, I'm not Frank anymore. I don't think I'm Frank anymore, and there's earthquakes. Don't like earthquakes. Flashlight. I do have a flashlight. Okay, that leads that way. That leads nowhere. Yeah, it can't go that way. Okay. So we've gone from snowy to sandy. I still don't understand how these lights are still lit after all these years. Stop shaking. Yeah. Nasty looking things. The hallway seems like it was intentionally blocked with this ornate wall, and there are some primal writings inscribed on it. Okay. Hmm. As far as I can tell, the text talks about a guardian, a formless, glistening, and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm, able to mark and reflect all forms and organs. Interesting. Hmm. As far as I can okay, tell, I've already read that. The text talks about a guardian. Whoops. A formless, glistening, and reflectively iridescent black protoplasm. Able yeah, to yeah, mark yeah. and reflect all forms and organs. Let's just destroy the place. So yeah, this is some somebody's burial area. I wonder if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. Well, they could be, or they could just be mummified bodies of people who uh, desecrated. I wonder place. if these mummified bodies were the ones who originally built this place. Hmm. I don't know. Leave the same place, yeah. Okay. See, that fire's gone out. That one hasn't. That's interesting. Master, please help us. There's some weird guy shining a light in our eyes. Please. We bow down to you. Uh, 
I just happen to have What do we need to do? Do I need to line everything up? Whee! Okay, can we reset it? Uh, leave. Um, circular stone tablet with mosaic symbols. Of the symbol which appears in the shape of a Canis Major constellation seems to be repeated several times. I marked it down in my notebook. So light, 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 light. Okay, so that one won't line up. No, it doesn't line up, does it? Am I trying to make a star? <laughs> 